way, guys, Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury in Hong fucking Kong. Today, guys, I want to take you to Champagne Court. Champagne Court. This is a very, very famous shopping mall. Uh, it's, it's off Kimberley Road. It's in Kimberley Road. Now, Kimberley Road is a... Uh, Kimberley Road is uh, one of the main uh, watch districts in Hong Kong. It's off the very famous Nathan Road. Nathan Road is one of the main roads in Hong Kong. Uh, a lot of dealers there. This is Champagne Court, which is uh, just uh, Nathan Road, then Kimberley Road, and then you've got this little shopping place here, Champagne Court. Have a look. Have a look, fuckers. Have a look. You have never, ever, in your entire life, seen watches on display like this. And uh, if you see the prices here, this is all in Hong Kong dollars. Go to xe.com uh, to, to convert currencies. Um, basically, uh, I think it's about five to one for the, for the US dollar to the Hong Kong dollar. Have a look. Have a look. Have a look. What do you think? You never ever have seen such an amazing display of wristwatches like you will see here. Sorry guys, it's uh, I got the currency wrong. Don't you love it there? One US dollar is 7.84 Hong Kong. It's about, one Aussie dollar is about five point something. So uh, sorry, I do apologize there, but take a look here. This is Hong Kong, Hong fucking Kong. And uh, this is the pre-owned wristwatch market. This is dealers here are selling. These are all genuine pieces, but these are not through authorized ADs. Amazing selection of stock. You will never ever see so many watches in one place as you will see in Hong Kong. If you're after new, there's many boutiques and saloons and and uh, upmarket stores, but where the real Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury disciple separates himself from the riffraff is the pursuit of pre-owned luxury goods. Pre-owned luxury goods, fuckers! And uh, this here, this is the mecca for pre-owned, pre-fucking-owned. Um, I gotta be honest with you, Hong Kong, these are hard people to do business with. These are shifty fuckers, very, very hard business people. Is there any bargains in Hong Kong? Well, there has to be, there's such stock, um, there is going to be bargains, but you've gotta be on your game, you gotta be on your game because to the average person, I can't see it fucking happening. You really got to know, it's it's so daunting. When you go to Hong Kong and see the mass of watches, it's so easy to be seduced by the choice and pay more than market price. So you've got to do your homework. you got to, I think what you need to do is if you go to Hong Kong and you want to buy a watch in the pre-owned market, you've got to, Find out firstly what model of watch you want. Look at this, Pams, 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 like fucking oranges, like fucking oranges in the supermarket. Pam, 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 hundreds of these fuckers. And this is where it gets so confusing. You've got to work out what exactly do you want. It's no good going there and letting them. Yeah, oh, I like this one. No, no, no. You've got to have done your homework before you board the plane because once you're in Hong Kong the smells the the ecstasy that is Asian travel will just encompass you and um, you really you've really got to do your work before you get there in Champagne Court itself there's a lot of these mini dealers Anywhere else in the world, any of these dealers would be big dealers. But in Hong Kong, they're just so-so. Just average, run-of-the-mill dealers. But look at this. Frank Muller's <laughs> by the bucket load. Absolutely chocker, 
chocker fucking block. These aren't copy watches. Royal Oaks, fuck me dead. How many Royal Oaks can they possibly have in the window? Royal Oak offshore chronographs. <laughs> Absolutely chocker block. Royal Oak, Royal Oak, Royal Oak. It's, uh, this is Hong Kong. This is Hong Kong. This is what the market's like. You've got to have done your home. Patek! <coughs> Patek! Look at this. Shelf full of Patek Philippe. A grand classique from Patek Philippe. Now, the only problem is, guys, are they bargains? Are they cheap? That is the dilemma. You've got to really <coughs> do your homework. Um, you can't come here and then decide, oh, I'm not sure what model. You've got to really narrow it down to, say, a couple of models, three or four watches, and then find the deal. Um, it's, it's real. This is the reality. If you go there, if you go there <coughs> and you aren't prepared, you will be taken like a sucker. Because I've got to tell you something. They may have heaps and heaps and heaps of stock, but they didn't get rich like this from being fucking stupid. They didn't get fucking rich by doing fucking stupid deals. They became rich by buying low, selling high. These are not stupid fuckers. If you think you can come here and get a steel sports Rolex cheap, you got to have fucking rocks in your head. These are sharp, nasty fuckers. These aren't easy fuckers to do business with. These are shifty, nasty, trained fuckers. These are poor, born traders, fuckers. These are born traders. There's no fucking around here. You really do need to have done your homework and then work out <coughs> what you want. I would highly recommend you use Chrono24. There's an app available. I'm not plugging fucking Chrono. I'm not getting a fucking secret commission. Let me tell you that. But you can check what are these watches going for in the US market, the European market. This is what you've got to do. You've got to do your homework before you buy because the worst thing you can do is, is pay too much. Pay too much. And uh, that's the biggest, biggest sin you can commit as a watch collector is to pay fucking too much. Because you've got to get the deal. You want the bargain. You've got to get the deal, fuckers. You want to get the deal. You've got to be the man. The man doesn't pay huge prices. He gets a good deal because he's learned. He's done his homework. There are hundreds of dealers in Hong Kong. The island is full of wristwatch dealers selling their wares. Now, I would suggest, generally speaking, in this area like Champagne Court, the dealer who doesn't have thousands and thousands of pieces and um, who sort of has more modest stock, whose shop may be in the back of the centre, he's more inclined to want to do business. He's <coughs> wanting to do deals. So you've really got to come in, see him. Don't waste his time. Go in there with a strategy. You've got to work out what sort of watches you want. You want to pick a nice condition piece and then sit down and nut out a fucking deal. Now, you've got to be prepared to walk. <laughs> These are hard fuckers to negotiate with these are the these are the shiftiest fuckers on planet earth but this is how it's done you've got to have done your homework if you've done the research if you've watched countless archie luxury episodes on how to buy how to negotiate you got to do your homework before you come to honkers find out what is market value and then you got to stick it to these fuckers you got to stick it to these fuckers. Hong Kong has got dealers you will never ever see anywhere else in the world. Windows, shops, chock a block. It's like a fruit shop for luxury wrist watches. That's right, fuckers. It's like a fruit shop for luxury wrist watches. You will never ever see anything else like this in the world. This is a surreal experience. No, they're not copy watches. They're not fake. These are all genuine, real brand name pieces. 
from some of the top makers in the world. And uh, I got to tell you, plan a strategy. Don't just turn up there and let these fuckers guide you. You got to have done your homework, know what certain pieces are going for, and hit these fuckers hard. Hit these fuckers hard. <coughs> Ideally, <coughs> have credit card or cash ready to pounce. These fuckers will hit you with merchant fees. If you want to pay by card, ideally you want cash. Deal with these fuckers on their terms. But if you want to see the greatest selection of used wristwatches in the world, there is no other place on planet Earth like Hong fucking Kong. It is the mecca for luxury wristwatches. Are there bargains? Well, there is always going to be a few watches here. It's called arbitrage, fuckers. One market doesn't value a certain piece, whereas another market may value it. So arbitrage lets you buy something. There are going to be arbitrage bargains, but these are shifty Hongkanese fuckers. These aren't stupid fuckers. These are clever, nasty Chinese fuckers. They're ready to rip you another one at a moment's notice. So you've got to be prepared. Get a battle strategy. Work out what model you want. Do your homework. Know what price they're going for on Chrono24 and the home market. And then come out here and deal with the big boys. This is like buying diamonds in the New York Diamond District. This is what it's like. This is the greatest wristwatch market in the entire fucking world. This is Rich Watch, Rich Watch Central. You will never ever see a selection like this anywhere in the fucking world. This is the greatest selection of pre-owned wristwatches you will ever, ever, ever see. I'm Archie Luxury, reporting live for the Archie Luxury channel and the Poor Pluto channel. Please like, subscribe, tell your circle jerking friends, and don't forget fuckers. Put a few really nasty fucking lousy comments below. That's what you lousy fuckers like to do. Put some nasty comments, you lousy, lousy fuckers. I'm Archie Luxury, live from Hong Kong, fuckers. Okay. Hey guys, my name is Paul Pluter. I'm the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3. Guys, guys, I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. It's very hard running a YouTube channel relying on Google Ads alone. I'm in a special niche and I speak my mind and I've, I don't have all those Seiko wannabes, all the people who want assurance about their affordable shitters. So I've got to really try hard to bring in the revenue. Guys, if you like my content, if you think I'm a great, great chap to have around, why don't you help me out? There's a number of ways you can help me out. This will keep me full time on YouTube. Look in the description of this video for some ways you can help me. You could sponsor me on Patreon. That allows you to send a small monthly amount to me every month. It can be a dollar, it can be a hundred dollars, whatever you can afford. The next way you can help me is, well guys, I, I really need some money to keep things going. Paid reviews. On the Paul Pluto channel, I run paid reviews. For as little as 20 US dollars, I'll give you an opinion of your collection, of what you're looking at, I'll try and answer. There's heaps of other ways you can help me. I do telephone consultancy. For 50 US dollars, I will talk to you on Skype or WhatsApp and answer your horological or personal problems. Any questions, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Now guys, please help us out. 
look down below and if you if you if you could help us out I will stay here and make videos full time on YouTube